going to Muskoka. Uh, this is my first time that I am going there in six years. Um, just didn't get chance ever to get there because mostly there is nothing much to do there. <laughs> Only it's it's the cottage country of Ontario. So if you want to stay at a nice cottage or a nice hotel, then definitely uh, you should go there. Otherwise, for activities, I mean there are forests there, there are lakes. So if you are a nature nature person, if someone who loves nature, then you can definitely go there and stay or, or go for camping and all. But yeah, otherwise they do have really nice cottages there, up there. So it's like 200 kilometers, approximately 200 or maybe a little more kilometers from Toronto. Um, it takes about two hours to get there. Um, but if like the place that we, where we are going, it's another 30 minutes. So considering the traffic and everything, it would take us about three hours, almost three hours, considering the stops that we will make along the way. Um, it will take us approximately three hours to get there. So we'll see you there. I'm staying tonight. Man, JW Marriott actually. Isn't it beautiful? It is a resort. It's right on Lake Ruzo. I had to climb up a hill to get to the reception because parking was slightly far. And I can smell bonfire. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's like I can I can smell fire somewhere. Oh, it's cold. It's snowing. But it's nice. I'm excited. staying at JW Marriott for the night um, it's the only JW Marriott in Ontario actually there are only three in the entire Canada one is in Edmonton one is in Vancouver and the third one is here at Muskoka uh, yeah let me show you guys my room is 2308 so 2 is the building number 308 
three is the floor number and the room number is 08. So I've got a closet here. That's my jacket. Um, they have also given one row. I need to order another one. Then there is a small um, kitchen counter sort of thing. I'm impressed that they actually have a nice um, glass top stove. Coffee machine. There's also a sink. I really like this because I really don't want to refill my water from the washroom. So I really like this thing in any room that I ever stay. We also have some cutleries, sorry, crockery here. Cutlery, I'm, I'm sure there would be some cutlery as well. Just see, found something. Yep, we have cutlery as well. And just on the other side, there is the washroom. Um, it's a five, no, I don't think it's a five piece, but it's a four piece washroom. Hi, that's me. Then there is a separate section for taking a shower. And this section is also separate, which is good. <laughs> we have a dining table here dresser and a fireplace i'm really excited to try this on i don't know if it's a wooden fly fireplace or a gas fireplace but we'll see we also have a balcony in the room there is so much snow in the balcony that i don't think we can go out but look at the view Look at these icicles. These can actually kill you. Sofa, armchair, and a king size bed. I checked the fireplace, it's a gas fireplace, which is fine. Um, at least I have a fireplace in my room. Um, the balcony is locked for the season because of those huge icicles, I believe. I mean, it's just not safe to go outside in the balcony with so much snow. So for safety reasons, they have locked it. It would be nice if it was open, just so that I would have enjoyed the view more. But uh, Lake Ruzo is visible from here, although it's all frozen. <laughs> the plan now is just to find out what this resort offers in terms of activities and just book it and <laughs> go enjoy the resort. They have given us these pink bands uh, just so that wherever we are going inside the property, they can identify that we are vaccinated and we don't have to pull out our proof of vaccination and our ID every single time. So I, I really like this. for our lunch. There are not many options um, like outside because you are kind of st like stuck in the resort. So just checking out the hotel restaurants. We are having our lunch at the Lakes Lounge. Um, I have ordered a veggie burger and he has ordered a portobello sandwich with our respective drinks. Um, it's a very common misconception that many people have is that we vegetarians don't find food whenever we go outside. Well, you might not find healthy vegetarian food, but you always get something vegetarian on the menu. So and nowadays, because I believe more people are turning vegans, uh, there is always at least one or two vegan options on the menu. I've 
always. Otherwise, you always have a choice of eating salads. So I ordered this drink called Cine Cinevon, and it's good. Like I don't feel any cinnamon in it, but the apple, the lime juice, it's nice. You must try. Here is my veggie burger along with a side of salad and here is portobello sandwich on focaccia bread along with a side of fries. Let's get eaten. That right there is the reception area and this is the lake's lounge this is another lounge uh, it basically belongs to the cafe right here and here we have a pool table a chess here's the chess and a beautiful view of the outdoors uh, they have a little games area as well so there is pool I don't know what kind of game that is but there is table tennis as well which I don't know how to play tennis, Jenga and pool. It was fun. Now we are thinking to go swimming. Actually I am thinking to go swimming. Um, it's an indoor outdoor pool. So from the inside when you go into the pool you can go outside. Outside it's minus I believe 5 degrees. So the feels like could be minus 8. But I'm very determined to go outside as well. Um, it's, it's hot water, so why not? Let's give it a try. So, ready to go swimming. It's so cold. It's take minus 10 outside, but the water is warm. My face is freezing. My hand right now because it's outside the water, it's freezing. But it's fun. Very well rested after a very heavy lunch and a really nice swim and an hour of games. Uh, Right now it's 8 o'clock. We have a reservation at one of the restaurants here. It's called Teca. It's an Italian restaurant and uh, apparently it's pretty good. Um, we'll just go down a little early, um, check out the hotel and yeah and then we'll just go and have our dinner. Uh, there are a few vegetarian options here uh, in Italian so we have ordered a pizza and a risotto. 
I'm looking forward to try it. I, I really love Italian. Um, and recently I've been going many places to try different kind of Italian food in Toronto. So as in every Italian restaurant, they have given us some bread. Their bread is actually really amazing. Just because, I mean, because it's not sourdough. Usually, um, at most places they would give you freshly baked sardo. Personally, I don't like it. Um, this is more like a flatbread, and it does it has a garlic flavor to it. So this is good. Here's the risotto, um, and here is the flatbread. I already ate it because I was hungry. So done with the dinner. Uh, the risotto was amazing really delicious it's a must try pizza was okay um, I've had better service was excellent um, it it was a, as per the JW standard so we're really happy with that I didn't take too many videos of the restaurant itself because um, it was kind of busy and just that sometimes people don't like it when you are like in their face with a camera. Good morning. It's almost the end of a beautiful day here at Muskoka at Ruzo Resort, uh, JW Marriott. We would be checking out at 11 because that's the checkout time but before that we are gonna go to another restaurant of theirs I don't recall the name right now um, but that's where they serve breakfast so we will have our breakfast and then we would be on our way back home a little bit about Muskoka so it's located approximately 200 kilometers north from Toronto and it's kind of all the rich people own a property here mostly cottages it's like also called the cottage country of ontario i think of ontario um and this county i would i would call it a county has over 1600 lakes can you believe that well i did not know that i looked it up before coming coming here uh, unfortunately all the lakes are frozen right now so if you're looking for some fun activities like ice fishing and snowmobile and all like skiing snow shoeing they all they did do it here but uh, unfortunately I did not bring my snow boots so I'm not gonna take that risk to get into the snow and get frozen to death after I saw those people doing snowmobiles I really wanted to rent one and do it but the thing with those is that you have to rent them for an entire day and uh, and it can get a little pricey because um, it's it's as if you are renting a car for a day so I was thinking that maybe not this time, maybe on a different holiday during winters when we don't have anything else to do, um, we can keep that activity for, for that time. Uh, but yes, now that is also on my bucket list. Overall, it has been a great day. I really had fun. Uh, the service here, it's world class, like it's, it's amazing. Um, like everywhere that you go people are like the staff is like good morning ma'am good afternoon ma'am can I help you with anything there is like literally someone always there wherever from wherever you are passing from they are there to help you out and if you if, if you do look confused they would be like can I help you with something I mean that's the way it should be even at other well this is a luxury hotel uh, but other premium hotels as well like like Sheraton uh, I'm gonna go and get ready uh, almost finished my black coffee 
I'm drink. I usually don't drink black coffee, but it's just that they did not have any cream in the room, and I would have asked them, but it would have taken a uh, a little longer. We are going for our breakfast anyway, so I'm gonna have coffee there. We are here for breakfast, and um, it's called the Cottages. It's called the Cottages Restaurant or something where they serve their breakfast. And uh, we had two options, either to do a la carte or or do the buffet. We chose buffet because obviously there were more options. Um, the good thing is that that we can actually go and get our food ourselves after a very long time. Because in all the good hotels, they were serving you, so you just have to let them know what you want, and they'll bring it to your table. And at budget hotels, they were just handling you a brown bag with a juice, a yogurt, a fruit, uh, some granola in it. I I don't think I'm missing something, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And I never used to take those. I was like. I would rather go outside and eat my breakfast. Quite a few options. There are not quite a few, but actually many options for non-vegetarians. For vegetarians like me, who don't even like egg, uh, they have hash browns, but I'm not eating potatoes as well. Uh, so I just had parfait uh, and, and a slice of whole bread. I know. I'm just vlogging. Do you want to say hi? Hi, how are you? <laughs> you have no idea. I have a pleasure meeting everyone. They have different type of breads available. Croissants, muffins, fruits, meats, fruit station. And that's an omelette making station and parfait so that's what my breakfast looked like this is yogurt and some fruits and nuts and granola that's chia seed smoothie with a toast and he's having an omelette, some hash browns, french toast, and a side of bread. There is a small skating rink here, but it is so cold and windy. I hope you can see the blowing uh, snow. I'm gonna get back inside because I can't take it. It's a nice sunny day and end of my getaway to Muskoka. Heading home to Toronto now and